do things is we just jump right into this stuff. So All right. I got I, I got to give you an intro because we can't pass over the 15 accolades that we got <laughs> in your career. But three time stolen base champion, 2014, 2015 All Star. We got Defensive Player of the Year. We got a Silver Slugger Award winner, and most importantly, my teammate and friend D Gordon. Yes, yeah, so, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. You tell the people how we you... and the Silver Slugger. That's that's impressive. Hey. I got him. <laughs> you tell them how we used to train together at ASU? We did, dude. That I mean, it's right around the corner from us, and Maddie was there too. But yep. that was just that was a breeding ground for baseball players, man. Yeah, that was crazy. I the was off like season, the off season was like a ridiculous amount of major league baseball players all working out together. Yeah. If we could have put a team together from that ASU group, we would have been probably best team in the league. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah, I remember I used to just be sneaking around, like just walking in, like, hey, just hit real quick and go and leave. I was like, man, I ain't never been here. <laughs> you've always you've always been that way though. You're like <laughs> flying under the radar, just sneak in, get your work in. <laughs> like you don't mess around, you don't just you know, BS while you're in there. So That's why I'm your boy. That's why that's why you like me so much. <laughs> well, that's what we're all about. So we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump right into this. We wanted to get somebody on here to talk to the kids about stealing some bases and and getting the right information instead of getting that junk that they find from random people all over the internet. So Most definitely. Um, first and foremost, this is a question I want to know because I don't think I ever asked you this. Are you stealing every single time you get on base? Oh yeah, every time. Oh man, I'm ready to go every time. Like literally every time. <laughs> Even when I'm not going, that made me want to go even worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you've got 333 stolen bases so far. So yeah. Yeah. you have quite an idea of what the heck it means to steal a base and how to steal a base. So I know Maddie's had a couple of questions, so I'm going to throw it over to him and get his first one out there. I'll just pick you back up at his question. I mean, you know you're going every time. The defense knows you're going every time. Explain to everybody, like, just having you on base, what, what type of pressure does that put on the defense? How does it affect the way the defense goes about their business, especially the pitcher? Because now the pitcher's focused on you, not focused on throwing strikes probably. I mean, so what is what is just you being on base due to the defense? Man, it's fun. Like, Ro Romy, you know, like, I like, I like, I like thrive for that because it's so much fun. Like, like y'all understand, like, these are the best players in the world, right? And them and the whole coaching staff and the whole stadium know that he ain't going to be able to get me out if I get the first base. Like, <laughs> like, that's, like, so dope. Like, that's, like, the dopest thing. It's, like, you – he knows, like, it's like a run. And if you get one, you usually score two in the end. And if I score, yep. that's the craziest thing, man. It's, but it's, like, it's dope, like, to have your friends come over and be like, bro, we just had a 45-minute meeting about you. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> teams teams would teams would have meetings before series just about him. Oh, you, know, sure. man, you have like to. That's, it, that's changing the game just just from one player being on base. It wreaks havoc. But they don't yeah. want that no more. So, you know, I'm I gotta evolve. Well, yeah. I gotta say yeah. like the game's changing, but you know, as as a hitter hitting behind you, I would have to imagine that, that their average and their success rate goes way up just having you on base versus when you're not on base. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I got some guys who hit behind me who had some pretty, pretty good accolades that came behind it. So sure. it's, it's pretty cool. Well, it's a lot easier to get an RBI when somebody's standing on second base versus first. So Most definitely. And it's harder to score from first base than second and third for sure. <laughs> I mean, you're scoring from second on any base set to the outfield, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just let me get there. All right, so my first question, what are you queuing off of when you're on first base? All right, uh, who are we speaking to? Are we speaking to little kids? We yeah, yeah, like, start All right. Start little. We'll work our way into, like, getting a little more elaborate. All right, so little kids, pick up the feet. Right-hander, he can't look at both feet. If he step off right, you go back. If he pick up the left, you go. That's pretty much it. Right. Like, if, he, if you see the right foot move, just go back. That's literally it. If he move his right foot, start going back. If he move that left at all, go ahead and go to second. And are, and are you leaning? Which which foot do you have more weight on, your right foot or your left? 
Myself, I like to have a little bit more weight on my right foot so I can keep it more stationary when I'm crossing over. Okay. So then are you a crossover guy or are you uh, like uh, – Yeah, I try to be, go? but everybody does a little – Standing. Yeah, like, yeah, like it's the craziest thing. We all practice like not doing it. Then as soon as the game cap, your foot come up and you go. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> kids, try That's not awesome. to do it, but you are gonna end up doing it. So try not to do it. Try yeah. to work on not doing it. That false step is it's re it's actually a really big talked about topic when it comes yeah. to stealing bases. Like that is like it's human. About. It's really human nature how crazy it is. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so when you're taking your lead, um, obviously they're trying to pick you off. They know that yes. you're going to be going. If they can pick you off, they're going to do it. So yes. you're doing right, left, crossover, shuffle, or are you just kind of playing it by ear? I literally walk out there like one, two, three, shuffle, shuffle. Just literally a walk, one, two, yeah. three, step, shuffle, shuffle. And if I'm feeling froggy, I might get another shuffle in there. Are you uh, are you like kind of flying in the radar when you lead off, or are you trying to like make a little bit of scene to get the attention on you? Nah, I'm really trying to like be like I ain't going nothing, I ain't doing nothing. We just got a nice flowing game, and then because he, he know I'm going, so if I look out there like I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna <laughs> go, like I'm trying to like make no bring no attention to myself, even though all the attention is on me. I was going to say, you flying under the radar doesn't really qualify for you because they know you're going. You want them. you you telling people you're going. You're joking yeah. with them before the game that you're going to Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do be messing with them. But, like, so the coaches, they be the coaches. They be all, like, serious. Like, bro, oh, don't make them step on us. And I'm like, bro, I'm going to get the bag anyway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So – so when you're taking your lead, are you a backside of the base guy or are you just straight off the base? Yeah, I go from the backside of the base. Kids, the reason I'm going off the back corner of the base, for some scientific reason, going off the back corner lines you up perfectly to the middle of the, the base at second right. base. So when you're going in your straight line. So back corner of the base, that lines you up into the – that little – you know where they put the little stickers at on the bases? It literally lines you up right there to the middle. Right. Are you a feet first guy or head first guy in the second? I would love to be a feet first guy, but I've been getting out so many times. <laughs> and that's going to see first. Because some reason my foot won't go on the base, man. If it go on the ground too early, I could, like, you don't see me, like, slide and, like, pop up out of it. Like, so yeah. it's like, I want to be feet first, but I'm definitely a head first guy just to stay safe. Well, with this new replay, I mean, when your yeah. foot hits, it's going to bounce a little bit. So it's like, how yeah. how could you even control to keep your foot on the base going that fast? It's can't. You it's crazy. literally can't. You can't. I remember in 2014, I think I had like 25 cost stealing and like literally like 18 of them was just for some weird <laughs> replay. Like my foot was off the base like by that much. It was crazy. Yeah, it's, it's almost dangerous to have that rule because now you're trying so hard to stop I just lay on that base as, or the as, full speed slide. Road. I just lay on the base now. I don't even get up. <laughs> I just laid up, and they be like, "Do you look like you're doing like like you like showing up the other team?" No, I'm gonna make sure y'all ain't gonna call me out on no replay. Yep. I'm gonna stay right here and just sit here. Well, you know, as middle infielders, when we're you know when we were practicing, when we were talking to guys about stuff, and we're holding tags on people. Like nowadays, you're holding that tag on them the whole time. You oh, never take because you know they'll call that that little bit where your foot comes off. They'll call that every time now in replay. So you're just like, I'm waiting for you to slide off. Yeah, and it messes me up all the time. So yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> That's a bad rule. It's, <laughs> it's tough. It, it's creating some problems for sure. For sure. So all right, I want to take it to second base now because this is a whole different beast. Obviously, first base, you're just – you're going or you're not going. He's got a high leg kick. He's got a low leg kick. You just do what you do. But when you get to second, this takes into, like, a whole different mode of stealing bases because this is, like, we're feeling out the pitcher. We're feeling out the third baseman. We're trying to calm them down so they don't think we're going because this is a place where they might not think you're going. Right, right. That's so the one you can trick them. So exactly. So what are your thoughts when you're getting on the second base? And let's say it's just a guy who's a normal 
he's not slow to the plate. He's not fast to the plate. He's just average. And given the situation, obviously you're not going to steal in certain situations, but let's say it's a stealing situation. What are your thoughts? First of all, first thing I'm going to do is check the outfielder. That's number one. Check the outfielder. Other than that, uh, I'm going to look at his head turn. So hopefully at first, uh, he, first pitch he gives me a head turn. And if he's average, his head turn can make him below average, meaning that he can look back and then I'll, I can time him up from here and then he goes home. So mm-hmm. if he goes, if he gives me the same head now and he turns and it was already average on a leg kick, that turns him into a slower guy. It's just literally the head turn. And you got to be safe when you're still in third because you're already in school. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a spot that you know of, like, if I get to this spot, I'm going because I'm going to be safe or do you just kind of feel it odd off the edge? I'm going to be honest with y'all. Every time I steal that, I'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you better be safe. You better be safe. Well, that throw that throw from the catcher is so short. That... Yes, dog. It, I promise you, like, the time it feel like you be like running, be like, oh, man, I'm going to get out. <laughs> <laughs> And and also take into consideration left-handed hitter, right-handed hitter. Oh, yeah. Cause... Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, like, if it's a lefty, so, like, the thing is, if it's a lefty, you got to hold it in the shift, kind of. Like, yeah. y'all want to hear some crazy stuff. Like, I done seen base stealers. Like, base stealers, they go in the shift and he just get to run the third. I yeah. swear on my life, like, they ain't never gave me that luxury just to run over that <laughs> one time. I'm like, give me, give me the free one one time. Yeah, well, maybe if we actually get baseball going, they'll let you do it this year. <laughs> we won't. We won't talk about that right hey, now. Nah, there, that, I ain't talking about the baseball part. I'm talking about the dinner part. They're not gonna let me get that easy bag. No, no, it's it's a different baseball game nowadays. It, it definitely is. Base stealing is kind of a lost art, but yeah, absolutely. But then they need it in the playoffs, right? Right. <laughs> It's all. There's always at least one or two games in the playoffs. It's dictated because somebody steals a base late in the game. Man, and, and listen, you know, I'm trying to, to get them tacos or whatever they be getting. <laughs> yeah, Taco Bell. <laughs> in the World Series, I just want to get the tacos for everybody one time. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, who's right. um who who's a catcher you've stolen off of that you're like, yeah, I got him that you're just super proud of. Man, I ain't proud of none of that. Like, they don't even worry about the catches. It's out the pitcher. But one time, Yachty threw me out, like, the first time. But he ain't throw me out since. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that, I was thinking you were going to say Yachty. The, the nastiest one I – the nastiest stolen base I got, Tucker Barnhart one time threw me out two times in the game. And it was, like, the only time that ever happened. Cause, so I was like, all right, bet, bet, bet. The next day I stole like three bases off. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, did you try and go a third time that day? Yeah, so the third one was the nastiest one. It was a bunt, and he bunted through it, right? And I like got kind of got out there. And so then he like held the ball, so I got out some more. And he threw it behind me. Well, no, I faked back. And then uh, as soon as he threw it behind me, I ran the third and got a stolen base. I was, he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I did, dude, I had one similar to that, and I'd like to claim that I did it on purpose, but it definitely didn't happen on purpose. Oh, and see, I mine was on purpose, bro. I, I tried to hit him with a little, <laughs> little something, and I think I, I did. I, our guy bunted through. We were in Cleveland. Our guy bunted through, and I'm hung out to dry. And I did the, like, <laughs> fall back to second base thing, but I really fell. And Jan Gomes just fires it behind me, and I just walked into third. And I'm looking like I knew what I was doing. Didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, no. you know what? I've been with you. You've done a couple of things like that a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Must be I, nice to have that people, kind of speed. Right? People but, uh, think I know people think I do it on purpose, but no. But honestly, like I was saying, like I don't really look at the catcher, but it'd be funny like to look at video and watch them how mad they be when like it that'd be funny. I'd be like, I don't really like or like when I come up to hit. The the funniest thing a catcher could do is like, man, don't run on me today. My family understands. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. It's, it's funny because you say it's not off. The, it's not off the catcher. It's always. It's usually yeah. off the pitcher. It's the catcher. It ain't got nothing to do with the catcher. You can have a one flat pop time. If Buddy give me the right time, I'm I'm gone. 
Exactly. But you know Yachty takes that personal. He's got to. He loves that. That that name always comes out when they talk about base dealing, and it, it's a compliment, obviously, to Yachty right. and, and right. Barnhart and Gomes and those guys because, hey, you I know, you wouldn't be bragging I got, about – I got a platform. I got I to gotta get this out of here. They better stop posting Buster Posey when he threw around Yeti to try to throw at me. I was safe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know Stop what I know what you're talking about. He ain't throw me out. I was safe, guys. They even went to replay and replay held up that I was safe. I was safe. Okay, so let's get that clip. <laughs> but, but we're gonna have to enter that clip into here. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna edit that in. <laughs> and All right. my biggest, well, my biggest clip thing for the kids though, run, you gonna get out. It right. happened like. Like, I've been – there's been times where I've been told, like, don't run right here. We was in a postseason one time, and they told me literally to go out there and, like, scare the the the, bat, the pitcher. And I was like, all right. And then the dude hit, like, a <laughs> double play ball. And I was like, what well, that didn't work. Like, so go do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Go be who you are and help the team win any way you can. I, I remember this quote somebody said, you can't steal second standing on first base. So Amen. You gotta Amen. take chances. And there's a reason I, they call it there's a reason they call it stealing, right? Right. So we gotta take chances. And and like you said, D, the only way to learn is to mess up. Yeah. You know? Know what you're well, I messed up a lot. So you gotta mess That's up. That's how it is with all baseball, man. You gotta go out and you gotta you gotta go balls to the wall and, and try. I mean you can't go out and you know, play it safe because you're not going to succeed, man. You got to go out at bats. You got to grind them out. You got to work hard playing shortstop, you know, whatever it is. You can't be afraid to fail because you're going to fail. It's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. definitely. All right. All right. Uh, we appreciate it. We, we keep these things short. We're not going to keep you on here forever. We like to get it out and get this information in quick. Um, I do want to touch on one thing. You are one of the biggest charity donors give back to the community people that I can even think of because I know you pretty well. So I, I want you to just talk a little bit about what you got going on outside the field right now. Uh, right now uh, we just did uh we just gave 30,000 pounds of food with uh one heart charities with uh my boy Dylan and uh, Stephanie shout out to them. Y'all some real ones for that. Uh, Got a lot going on outside of the field, but, you know, me and my friends, we uh, got a farm we're starting. So we got some nice. things going on. We're building homes in our hometown through uh, D&D property groups, uh, right. things like that. So we're doing a lot. I know, you're big, I know you're big on the Players Alliance. I see a lot of that stuff that you yeah, post. most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. It's a lot going on, but uh, somebody got to do it. That's right. That's and, great, and man. We appreciate it. Baseball oh, needs God. more guys like you, man. You, you got the information. You give it back to the community, and you do everything you can to help people. So we, we more appreciate depth. it. More depth, guys. All right, man. Well, we enjoyed having you on. Yeah, thank right, you so much, man. It was a pleasure. Y'all be easy. Peace. All right. All right, All right dude. Thanks for joining us. Hall Night Row Nine Ball Talk. We'll get back to you guys. Join, like, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys next week. <laughs>